The Buddha says you have to make yourself your refuge, you make yourself your own island. The image is of a flood. The island is a safe place above the flood. Because what is the flood? Sensuality, becoming, ignorance, views. These things carry the mind away. We look around us, we see people willing to kill for sensuality, willing to kill for their views. Once you establish a state of becoming, you've got to lay out your territory. Then, as the Buddha said, even if it rained gold coins, it wouldn't be enough for one person's sensual desires. If we had two mountains made out of gold, it wouldn't be enough for people. So you would think, there's enough room on earth for everybody. But then when you think about two, everybody would have to have at least two mountains of gold. There's not enough. So you've got to get away from sensuality. That's the big issue right now. And of course, that means you have to get away from becoming. You have to get away from sensuality by establishing the mind in the four frames of reference that the Buddha recommended. The body in and of itself, feelings, mind states, mental qualities in and of themselves. Try to look at things in your experience in these terms. And you can cut through a lot of that flood of becoming. You can get up above the flood. So stay right here with the breath. As for who's watching the breath, that doesn't matter. As for the world we're in, we're watching the breath, that doesn't matter either. There's just the fact of the breath. And then there's the fact of the mind states that would pull you away from the breath. Again, look at them just as mind states. Don't make them an excuse to come down on yourself as a bad meditator. Just get you out of the way. Because the you is a lot of the problem. And we get it out of the way by convincing ourselves that, yes, we are capable of doing this, and we're going to benefit. That's enough you for the time being. Everything else is just breath in and of itself, distractions in and of themselves, simply as events. That way you're safe. You're not going to get washed away by the flood. So try to keep things on this level as much as you can as you go through the day. That way you keep your head above water.